North Bay, with a population of just under 58,000, this small northern Ontario city sits in solitude along the coast of Lake Nipissing. During the winter months, hockey is, like in every other Canadian city, the sport of choice. In the early 60s, Sam Jacks, Director of Parks and Recreations, felt that girls weren't being given the same opportunity to compete in team sports as boys were. Jack saw great potential in developing a team ice sport that would cater to the women of North Bay. In 1963, Jax would develop the outline and basic rules of ringette. What position do you play in ringette? Um, I play forward and sometimes center. What do you like best about it? The speed and really just, you don't have the puck handle, so it's a bit faster, so really everything actually. <laughs> ringette, like hockey, involves two teams trying to score on the opposing net. It is played on a regulation sized hockey rink and each team has five players on the ice during play, plus one goalie. Ringette players use a straight stick and a rubber ring as opposed to the traditional hockey stick and puck. Why did you choose this over hockey? Um, my parents knew a friend and they just got me into it, got me equipment and I just never stopped. It was never a question. I never really wanted to so I just kept on playing. What do you like best about it? Um, I like the speed of the game, it's really fast and everyone's involved because we have to pass up the blue lines and uh, there's like restriction of how many players can be in a zone. In the 10 years after its development, ringette was primarily played in Ontario and Quebec. Now it has made its way across Canada and is played in all 10 provinces plus the Northwest Territories. As of 2006, there are over 25,000 Canadians playing ringette across the country. Ringette has not only developed immensely in Canada, but has also made its way into many other countries around the world, including the United States, Sweden, France, Russia, and Finland. We interviewed Bruce Jacks, son of Sam Jacks. So when your father initially developed the sport, what were his intentions for it? I think his intentions were to uh, find something that the girls could do in the winter, much like the boys, have their own identity. There's lots of speed to the game, lots of camaraderie with the girls, and uh, I think that's what he was looking for. What do you think it is about the sport that appeals to so many people? Well, I think it's the speed. The girls get to have a team effort. If you've watched the game, which I know you have, it's good, clean, fast fun. And what do you think the future holds in store for Ringette? You know, I, I hope we can have some uh, uh, national teams, uh, which we've already got uh, four, uh, and uh, I hope it will be a stepping stone in the way of scholarships for young women to uh, obtain college and university uh, educations, uh, like many other sports. Uh, that would be that would be really nice.